Legislation is headed to Missouri Governor Mike Parson's desk that would impose tougher penalties for people who fire celebratory gunshots. Our Missouri Chief Capitol Bureau reporter Emily Manley explains how the measure honors a Kansas City child who was shot and killed on the 4th of July. Back in 2011, bullets fired on the 4th of July fell, killing 11-year-old Blair Shanahan Lane. Since then, her mom has been coming here to the state capitol, asking lawmakers to strengthen the state's laws. Thursday, nearly 12 years later, the General Assembly gave final approval to the bill. I'm just thankful for this corner that we've turned or the finish line that we've crossed. I mean, it's incredible to me. It's been a marathon, but it's been worth it. After years of pleading for tougher laws. It's not the drive back and forth or the gas money or the mileage on the car. Right. They're reliving it yeah. every time they come here. Blair's law is headed to the governor's desk. You, you say, take me back. I mean, I blink my eyes and I'm there. And that's what I look forward to tomorrow is resting. Blair's mom, Michelle, watched as her 11-year-old daughter was killed by a stray bullet in Kansas City back in July of 2011. We were on 19 acres. And the bolt traveled three football fields, hitting her in the neck. So, you know, I saw her kind of raise up and as she was falling, I mean, it was, you could tell something had happened. Four men were later arrested and charged with shooting a pistol recklessly into a nearby lake. One served a short prison stay. Under current law, that's not a crime because you're not killing someone intentionally, and so it can't be brought as a homicide offense. In the final hours of session, the Senate passed the bipartisan legislation. Blair's mom watching from the side of the chamber, holding back tears. And that is what why I'm here, is it shouldn't happen. It's not, a gun isn't a toy. Under Blair's law, it will be a crime of unlawful discharge of a firearm to shoot a gun with criminal negligence within a city's limits. When she was in my office earlier, that she wanted to be down here and that she hoped that uh, for Mother's Day this year she would finally get to see this law pass in the General Assembly. That I can rest, that maybe that I won't have to come back here next year. The bill now heads to the governor's desk. Blair's law was part of a larger crime bill. Two other provisions include removing the salary cap for Kansas City police officers and creating a restitution system for people whose convictions are overturned. Reporting from Missouri Capitol Bureau, I'm Emily Manley.